A very good morning to all of you. Welcome to STB exam forum. Student, as you know, DRDO admin and allied cadre exam is in progress. And on the same line, in this video, we are going to present 50 MCQs on science. Okay. And uh, these questions are based on the current exam pattern, right? So students, uh, we will see 10 questions from physics, 10 questions from chemistry, 10 questions from biology and 10 questions from computer literacy as well. And finally, we will see 10 questions from science and technology. Okay. So this will be our objective for the today video. Okay. So try to give uh, every answer. Okay. And if you do not know, uh, we will give you the answer and also explain that question. Okay. So the coming to the first category that is 10 MCQs from physics. Let's see. So student, uh, your time starts now. A man cannot see clearly beyond 10 meters. This disease is suffer from what? These are the four options. Okay. So if a man is not able to see beyond 10 meters, beyond 10 meters, the disease is called what? These are the four options. These are very confusing one student. But those who have given myopia, they are right. This disease is called myopia where you cannot see the distant object. Okay. Opposite to that is hypermetropia. Uh, hypermetropia is the eye disease in which person is not able to read the nearby uh, things. Okay. So only aged people are mostly affected by hypermetropia. Okay. Cataracts is another, this is also age related eye disease and far sightedness and hypermetropia both are same. Okay. This myopia is also known as near sightedness student. It terms as a near sightedness, but it means this uh, man cannot see beyond a certain distance. Okay. So the correct answer for this question is option B. Quickly coming to the next question, uh, it is again from the physics, a very common question uh, asked in various exams. Okay, vehicle use to see the object from behind. As you have seen in your two wheeler or four wheeler, there is a uh, rear view. Okay, so with that you uh, see the back end view. Okay, so which type of lens or mirror is used? Okay. Student, remember for this particular question, vehicle, this convex mirror is used. Okay, convex mirror, uh, what does he? It give a broader view so that you can see a large traffic inside that mirror. Okay, it is not convex lens, student. It is convex mirror. Okay. Okay, option C is the correct answer. Let's see the next question. Uh, which of the following color of the light deviates least through the prism? So as you know, prism is a uh, device you must have seen in your 11th class. So uh, sunlight uh, passes through it and disperse into seven colors. That seven color are called Vipcure as you know, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Okay. So least deviate depends upon the highest frequency. So the red has the highest frequency. Okay. So option D is the correct answer. Okay. So uh, least deviate is the red. Okay. Coming to the next question. It is again from the physics, the phenomenon which cause mirage. Okay. Mirage is a uh, phenomenon where you have uh, a feeling that there is water nearby, but it is not there. So it generally happens uh, with this phenomena, total internal reflection, where when light passes from denser medium to rare medium, light get refracted. Okay. So this phenomena uh, is very uh, real one and it causes this mirage. Okay. Let's see the next question. A very simple one student, an object which absorb all the color and reflect none. Okay. So as you know, uh, we wear black colors in cloth uh, in uh, winter and uh, white color in summer. Why? Because in black color absorb everything into it. Okay. It can 
uh, absorb all the radiation so you will have a feeling of heat inside your body uh, because of this black color okay and why do we wear uh, white cloth in summer because it reflects the most okay this white color clothes reflects the most okay and uh, black color absorb the color as you have heard black hole okay so black hole what does it mean it can capture everything inside it okay so answer for this question is option d quickly coming to the light uh, next question the splitting of white light into seven color is due to what so just now we have seen a question on dispersion and the answer for this question is dispersion quickly coming to the next question the device which is used to convert solar energy into electricity what is its call a very simple one student okay so as uh, it converts solar energy into electricity so solar as you have heard this solar term is also known as photo okay photon okay so a photovoltaic cell when sunlight falls into it it convert into electrical energy some circuit is there okay so for this question option a is the correct answer quickly coming to the next question a very simple one this we have studied in i think sixth class i guess light year is a unit of what okay it straight away you can cancel light because light year is a unit of distance it is not unit of time student it terms as a time but it is the unit of distance okay let's see the next question the wave used in sonography are what so these are the four options uh, as uh, as we have uh, seen most of the uh, a uh, person went for the sonography so in that sonography student ultrasonic waves are used okay it is also called usg ultrasonography is also known as ultrasonography okay usg so in that ultrasonic waves are used quickly coming to the next question the filament of electric bulb is made up of what a very simple one student uh and it is based on certain uh, electrical properties and the answer for this question is tungsten not nichrome okay nichrome is a good conductor of heat but for this electrical bulb tungsten is used okay so we have seen 10 question on physics now it turns to chemistry let's see what are the question in chemistry the chief constituent of natural gas student okay what is the main component of natural gas uh, si since this natural gas uh, is used in various uh, purposes and methane student methane is used as a main constitution for the natural gas okay coming to the next question this heavy water you have heard is used in the nuclear reactor okay so what is heavy wet water actually okay student heavy water is also known as deuterium oxide okay d2o2 i think okay so option a is the correct answer coming to the next question which most the most abundant element is what okay student so whenever there is no fixed uh, thing like it is in earth or it is in universe you always consider this question with reference to earth and as you know earth has most of water in it so oxygen is the correct answer not nitrogen okay coming to the next question dry ice is a solid form of what okay student uh, don't uh, do a mistake by uh, giving option water water is not a dry ice even though the terminology says dry ice but actually it is a solid carbon dioxide okay it is solid carbon dioxide and it convert through a process called sublimation that if you have heard okay so option b is the right answer coming to the next question so the question says uh, the gas that cause suffocation and death when coke or coal is burnt in a closed room okay so you have heard that you should not sleep uh, inside a room where coal is burned why because some gases are released for this question the answer is carbon monoxide 
कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड इज वेरी हार्मफुल फॉर आवर लंग्स वेरी हार्मफुल फॉर आवर लंग्स ओके स्टूडेंट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज ऑल्सो देयर बट मैक्सिमम कंटेंट विल बी कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड दिस इज पार्शियल कम्बशन ओके स्टूडेंट वॉट इज इट्स कॉल पार्शियल कम्बशन पार्शियल कम्बशन ओके लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच गैस इज इमिटेड बाई पावर स्टेशन दैट कॉज इज एसिड रेन स्टूडेंट अ क्वेश्चन ऑन एसिड रेन कैन ऑल्सो कम दिस इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट साइंस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड द मेन अ रीजन फॉर एसिड रेन इज सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड एंड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज जनरली रिलीज बाई पावर स्टेशन ओके सो वी हैव सीन अलॉय रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन इन द पास्ट एग्जाम ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अलॉय स्टूडेंट brass is an alloy of what so these are the four option and uh, for this question option c copper and zinc is the correct answer okay we have seen uh, i think stainless steel we have seen and uh, one more uh, alloy we have seen in the past uh, exam yes let's see the next question uh, so uh, recently we have seen acid related uh, question so this anti acid is also very important question from chemistry antacids are found in drugs which give give reliefs to what okay student so if you have any acidity generally doctor prescribe antacid student these antacid are used in stomach ache okay so antacids means uh, which are generally acidic in nature when antacidic is uh, uh, meant it meant it is it will reduce the acidic effect by uh, giving some content on higher ph value okay so let's see the next question which of the following contain maximum percentage of carbon okay so all these uh, steel and iron have iron carbon in content in it but which of the following has maximum content of carbon student this is a very difficult one i know but the cast iron is the correct answer for this question okay so this question is very important it could be asked in the forthcoming exam stain of rust on cloth can be removed by what these are the four option and the answer for this question is not petroleum not alcohol not h2o2 oxalic acid as we have seen it is found in where tomato and spinach okay in these two oxalic acid is also present okay next see uh the biology part so we will see 10 questions on biology i hope uh, you are understanding these questions okay so the first question is which of the digestive organ contain acid okay again acid but with the biology so, okay so all these uh, are part of our uh, body and as you know stomach contain hydrochloric acid okay which uh, breaks the food into smaller components okay so stomach is the correct answer coming to the next question which of the following fiber is cons considered as strongest natural fiber as you know the nature provide the strongest natural fiber in the form of silk which is made from the silk worm okay from the silk worm this is a natural uh, fiber okay wool is also natural jute and cotton all these are natural but silk is the strongest one let's see the next question which of the following is the sweetest sugar okay so all these are sugar type of sugar some different uh, composition are there but for this particular case the correct answer is fructose okay so fructose has a highest sweet content okay coming to the next question sorry which of the following is an autotroph okay so we have seen uh, herbivorous carnivorous and omnivorous type of question so this i have put uh, specially for uh, considering that in mind okay so student autotroph are those creatures those living beings which made their own food which make their own food okay it is a very beautiful process made their own food so student as you have learned in smaller classes algae 
algae make their own food okay butterfly and mushroom stu uh, student these depend upon other uh, animal they are called heterotroph okay coming to the next question uh, which of the following is a vestigial organ okay yes a very simple one student as you have uh, studied in your 7th uh, or 8th wisdom teeth is a vestigial organ and appendix is also a vestigial organ okay appendix appendix is also vestigial organ coming to the next question red data book provide an account of which of the following okay there is a book called red data book okay that uh, make a separate account for endangered plant and animal species okay so it capture all the planet and uh, plants and animals all over the world that which animals are endangered which are epidemic okay so option c is the correct answer a very simple one student uh, now we have a lot of pressure while exam okay so what is the normal blood pressure reading of a adult human okay so if you have very good heart pressure uh, mine is not uh, very uh, normal so the answer is 120 by 80 mm hg okay millimeter of mercury hg is mercury okay option b is the correct answer the deficiency of vitamin a cause what this is a very 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 simple question student and the answer is option a okay and uh, to remove that deficiency doctor always prescribe carrots okay you need to eat the carrots okay and uh, berry berry as you know it with vitamin b and rickets with vitamin d pellagra is some other uh, disease okay so blue revolution is the related to what uh, student there is chances that you can have these type of question related to revolution in uh, upcoming exam okay so have a look on all the revolutions okay blue revolution student is uh, related to fisheries because this uh, stays in water so option d is the correct answer so you must have heard this insulin okay which is used in treating diabetes so what is the reason of using insulin so these are the four option increases the blood sugar decrease the blood sugar constrict blood vessels stimulate lactation okay so student insulin is used in diabetic to decrease the blood sugar okay so option b is the correct answer let's see the next question which of the following prevent blood bleeding of gums which vitamin is used for uh, that so as you know vitamin c okay which is also known as ascorbic acid is used to prevent the bleeding of gum so option a is the correct answer so we have seen physics chemistry and biology 10 10 questions so we have completed 30 question student and let's see some question from science and technology so which of the following is indigenous build light combat aircraft of india okay lca whenever you find this term lca you just hit tejas okay so tejas is the light combat aircraft option d is the right answer coming to the next question uh, student you have heard this terminology radar okay what does this radar mean there are two things radar and sonar okay sonar is sound navigation and ranging okay radio this is radio detection and ranging okay so sonar is used to detect uh, locate submerged 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 submarine whereas radar is used to detect and locate distant object okay it is like this this is a radar so will, it will track anything that flies okay so radar is uh, generally used to locate distant object so option c is the correct answer so which of the following uh, resource is a renewable one a very uh, good question student so student you can straight away eliminate uranium coal and natural gas so you are left with timber timber means plants so this plants are the correct one okay uh, sorry so who invented the vaccination student uh, as you know edward jenner is the founder inventor of the vaccination uh, whereas alexander famil Fem fleming discovered penicillin okay penicillin he discovered invented penicillin okay so option b is the correct answer 
so recently we have seen um, uh, that shri hari kota was that answer what is that satish dhavan center okay satish dhavan center is in shri hari kota that we have seen in the first day of exam analysis so now i am putting this question the vikram sarabhai space center is located at where student it's not shri hari kota it's trivandrum okay at trombi you have bark and uh, in bangalore it is having master facility okay so option b is the correct answer a very simple one student uh, who is also known as father of indian missile technology and all of you know that it is dr apj abdul kalam okay so option b is the correct answer a very interesting one and this is a very important one from an astronaut point of view in outer space will be obs uh, will observe sky as what okay so an astronaut who is in outer space will observe sky as what okay these are the four colors so if you are in space how will you observe sky student remember it is not blue it is black okay you will feel everything black there as you have seen in many movies also okay so let's see the next question uh the period of revolution of geostationary satellite okay what does geostationary satellite means so this is your earth okay and this is your satellite stationary means it will remain at one place it looks like it is in stationary mode but it moves along with the earth okay so as you know the revolution period of elevation is earth is 24 hours so 24 hours is the correct answer coming to the next question a very simple one student as you know the first person to set a uh, foot on moon it is neil armstrong student so neil armstrong was the first person edwin aldrin was the second person okay and valentina treshkova entered the space first time she is from russia and yuri gagarin first entered into the space okay so option c is the correct answer a very simple one student at uh, this you have seen many time an instrument used to measure the density of milk is what okay so how will you measure the density of milk with the help of instrument called lactometer okay lactometer is the correct answer so we have seen 10 question on science and technology now see let's see the 10 question on computer literacy a very simple one what is the brain of computer called student all of you know brain of computer is called a cpu and those who don't know just have a look on the block diagram so this is your cpu this is your input device this is your output device okay so this box this uh, brain is called cpu okay it is not motherboard student okay so ram ram will be inside your uh, computer so this cpu has certain part in it like arithmetic logical unit and what control unit and in addition these are interfaced with memory okay so they try to work with that okay so these are called hardwares okay whatever uh the extra peripheral it has okay so option c is the correct answer question uh, is from the invention who invented world wide web okay so if they ask what is www in url then it is world wide web and it was discovered invented by tim berners lee okay so tim berners lee is a uh, uh inventor of world wide web whereas charles babbage he is the father of computer okay charles babbage is a father of computer okay let's see the next question in a computer system which device is functionally opposite to keyboard okay so as you know uh keyboard so this is your system so there is a keyboard so keyboard is a uh, input device student okay so what is the opposite of input output device so this question says you need to find the output device so as you know trackball joystick printer these are output device so uh, we have to see which is opposite to the keyboard okay so this is also input device so this option d is the correct answer this is the output device okay understood you need to tell the functionally opposite so keyboard is a input device you need to find out the output device here printer is output device 
let's see the next question so uh, you have seen question on bios and rom so what does rom stand for a very simple one m stand for memory o stand for only r stand for reads okay so read only memory so option b is the correct answer quickly coming so you have heard in internet url what is the uh, url stand for okay and your time starts now a very simple one but a very confusing one student it's not unique unique resource locator it is uniform resource locator okay so option a is the correct answer so uh, usb you have heard okay universal serial bus okay what does this usb mean universal serial bus okay serial bus it is a storage device student uh, which are commonly known as pen drive okay or flash drive okay so this is a storage device of what these are the uh, four options it is student it is a secondary storage device like hard disk is also a secondary storage device let's see the next question of kilobyte is equal to how many bits student remember one byte is equal to eight bits okay so you have one kilobyte one kilobytes means how many one zero two four bytes okay so answer is option c one zero two four this is he is asking not byte he is asking bit okay so this is incorrect so one kilo in computer stand for one zero two four okay whenever you see one kilo it means one zero two four not thousand okay if if i ask you one kb what does this mean one zero two four b is byte so it will be byte so if i ask how many bits to one zero two four and one byte is equal to eight bits so this will be the answer okay let's see the next question what does bio stand for we have seen a question on bios so what is bios in computer system student it is basic input output system okay it is a main program before booting okay so option d is the correct answer next is which of the following is the secondary storage okay so as we have seen there are certain memory okay there are two type of memory student one one is primary and second one is secondary primary uh, memory is also called main memory and it include your ram eprom and rom okay where is secondary memory and these are the external as a term uh, itself means secondary so main is if there is no uh, need of uh, main memory then we are going to write into secondary memory and floppy is one example the other example are hard disks okay hard disks let's see the next question this is a very good question student the programs which are stored in rom are called student what these are called firmwares okay so if you have a rom memory read only memory if you write one software in it it will become firmware okay so that's the student so in today's video we have seen 50 questions from the science and uh, hopefully this will help you in your upcoming exam okay so thank you have a nice day